Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. After that 6.5 earthquake that occurred in Nevada, triggering so far 1,384 earthquakes, it now looks like the Condelaria fault zone has definitely reactivated and also triggering unknown fault zones that travel from north to south. Here is a map provided by USGS of the Condelaria Fault Zone. You can see here that it runs into the uh, another fault zone and possibly crosses over the Huntoon Valley 1 and 2 fault zones. I think that's what happened here. Using Google Maps here we have Highway 95. Parts of this highway had to be closed because of uh, displacement, uplift of the highway, Parts of the highway had to be shaved down to make uh, cars accessible so they can travel on the road. On Twitter, many of these faults that were activated, um, the right lateral slip, you can see that right here, of these faults that were activated by the 6.5 earthquake were shared on Twitter. Here's another image of the cracks in the highway. This was posted by Ryan Holster. He's one of the uh, geologists that went out there after the earthquake. Austin Elliott also posted this fault line and some of the faults that were activated because of this earthquake. Here's an enlargement of his post. There was cracks running everywhere. Another post by Austin Elliott showing some of the north-south cracks, some of them as small as less than three centimeters. Another Twitter post by Austin Elliott easily missable in the field but collectively they show coherent and interesting structure of this earthquake more of these north salt south faults he posted also here i don't know if you can see him but this other fissure that opened up see all the cracks through here over here this area is dot dotted with salt marshes which used to be coastal lands and is also dotted with ancient volcanic um, lava flows, as you know, with uh, Mono Lake and the uh, Mammoth Lakes region, Long Valley area. Another image of the highway and the displacement of the road that had to be shaved down. Another image of the highway. And on newsnow8.com, or actually 8newsnow.com, uh, they have another image of one of the faults that opened up on the highway. Another Twitter post by Austin Elliott says that this may end our hunt for tiny fractures in the sand. There is no match for this half a foot of snow. Guess that's why they call it Nevada. Happy May 19th. And I covered about the uh, changes that are going on because of the uh, uh, maximum solar minimum. No um, sunspots to heat up the earth yeah we'll be going through um, more storms like this and adverse weather 21,420 people reported this earthquake uh, thank god it was in a remote area so basically the only damage was to uh, this main highway highway 95 and the felt reports were very widely felt salt lake city all the way to uh, san francisco uh, Los Angeles, San Diego, etc. Looks like most of the energy from the earthquake was transferred going northwest. The initial P wave came in from the north. Tension was applied going southwest. But it's a little concerning when it looks like this fault line is now extending all the way over towards Mono Lake. And I believe that this uh, fault zone named Condelaria actually extends across these two other fault zones and who knows how much farther. Like I said, um, earthquakes on fault zones can trigger earthquakes on other fault zones and in this case many unknown fault zones. And it's still shaking. Uh, we got a lot of earthquakes just today. There was a 2.5 and a 3.3, only 4.8 kilometers in depth, 4.0.
that was 8.4 kilometers in depth. So that would be about 5 miles in depth. A 3.1, a 3.7, a 3.9 on the western section of this swarm. A 4.3. This just shows you this energy that has built up in this fault zone has not been released. It's still there. Tension is still there. That was 10.5 kilometers in depth, the 4.3. So that would be about 6.2 miles in depth, I believe. There's easily been several hundred earthquakes just today alone. We got a 3.4 there. Looks like the 4.3 is the largest so far today. And going through them. Look at them all. There is a lot just today alone. And it just updated for earthquakes, too. Must have been another one. Okay, yeah, the 4.3 was the largest one so far today. Yeah, they just had a, a 2.1. Not much research has been done for this fault zone. Everything I could find goes back to uh, the 70s and um, late 70s. So we're just going to have to keep an eye on this and the earthquakes and see how they extend down here towards Mono Lake. We got what's this one right here? A 2.0 in Yosemite Valley and they just opened Yosemite back up. There is also a Twitter shock of four shocks and aftershocks four days before and after the main shock. Interestingly, look how deep these are. Something definitely happen, happening out there in the desert. That was posted by R. Kuchi. Another Twitter post. Yeah, this might um, put your hair on end. Nevada, California border air quality is hazardous. Uh, near 500 daily earthquake zone. Sleeping volcano fields are becoming active again. Well, for those of you that follow me, I have told you that uh, with the weakening of the Earth's magnetic field. Yeah, now on top of it, we've got the um, lack of solar activity. We're going to see an increase in earthquakes and volcanic eruptions. There was some pictures of some rocks that were um, sitting on top of some small hills. Some that literally looked like they were pushed up and popped, popped up, flew up in the air, um, and came down the hillsides with impact areas. So it would be interesting to find out how much uplift occurred in this area too. And I haven't been able to find any data on that for how much uplift occurred. So what are your thoughts? Thank you for your support. I am on Patreon. Um, thank you for watching. Please stay safe and I'll talk to you later. God bless you all. Bye.